Hello everyone, if you run out of fuel, you may be able to burn something else. I don't... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that a whole lot. Welcome on in, it's Sunless Skies, I'm Colonel RPG. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I need... Oh. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I need to... Uh, to heal... I need to heal my terror, because it's awful! Visit the Memorial of Prince Consort. Uh, join the reverend crowds of the prince, score some this will reduce a little terror. This is exactly what I needed. Uh, I have a bunch of uncanny specimens. That's access to the upper gallery, though. No, 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 that's good, that's good. That's, that'll reduce... Oh, that's so great! That's so great! I didn't know this happened. Did I know this happened? Deliver uncanny specimens to get access to the upper gallery. The cheery registrar will accept, quote, diverse meats, unquote, in Leo of monetary donations. It is customary, and this is uh, an uncanny specimen, yeah. It is customary to leave offerings at the tomb, which are cleared away the next day. When they're nice and ripe. These come, have come with us for months. The cheery register gives you a vibrant smile. Your specimens are placed in a safe under the register's desk, which is swiftly locked. The smile never falters. You are led to the chapel where the prince consort is housed. Crowds throng around the tomb, leaning over the sturdy iron railings for a better look. You are directed to a balcony up a small spiral stair. From your elevated position above the crowds, you can make out the serene features of the prince's effigy gazing up from his tomb as though at the stars. You can also make out a little door just behind the tomb, locked and barred. I, I, I like that. How much did I lose? That was at least... Hmm. So we did that. That's basically 90... Yeah, let's try this again. Oh yeah, okay, that's 25. Okay, it's good, it's good. Whew. Our terror is taken care of, ladies and gentlemen. We are taken care of. And uh, I'm going to return to the nave because I can't access anything from here. And uh, we're getting out of here. We have things to do. We have the uh, things to deliver more than anything. We got that one over there. Where are we? Go we're going there right now. Our terror is in a good position. Actually, it should be in a better position. I'm going to pay a little bit of money to, uh, to get it up to or down to zero. So I need to take this all the way in London. No, no. What? Oh, right, okay, so, east of London, floating parliament, that's, I, okay, so I can visit, yeah, I, have I not been there? I mean, evidently I haven't, because otherwise I would have given those things away, there it is, down to zero, because I have 1%, must not have 1%, and uh, we got this. Okay. No, not that. Oh, right, because you can't. Okay. So now we can exit. Okay, so we're going east of London. What is that? Can I... What? Okay. The bit between. And it's east of London. How the heck am I going to get there? So I can get this, and I can go that way. That sounds like a plan. Try it. Don't crash. We did it. We did it. Oh, okay, let's keep uh, keep an eye on our terror and see how it goes up. So it flashes, I think, when you gain well, however much terror it is. There's a lot of me game mechanics. Look at that. There's also shooting that I heard. Um, there's a lot of mechanics that work in ways that I... I'm not 100% certain of. Because we are gaining it. Or maybe it's just warning us that... There's definitely something up there. Uh, Yeah, let's go this way. Baker's Trust. That's good. Oh, no, it's not good. It's a dead end. So we gained a little bit. It must be like a little percentage. I don't know. We went from... Zero to one a lot slower than we went to from one to two Is it a passage this way there can't be what the heck oh right that's background Okay, we're good. Also. There's a thing over here. I don't have the machinery 
Uh, actually, this is a, uh... Just a bad thing. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's a good thing I remembered. Yeah, we got a few of those. Ooh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Look, steer away, steer away. I mean, I can go there later. Look at all the color distortion. Don't crash. Yeah, we're not getting anything, any terror from there. But I think I can sort of steer around it and try to mark it on with uh, on the map with a fog of war. Sort of have an idea where that is. There's something over there. No, I'm not gonna get any idea. I'm not gonna have any idea where it is. It's just over there. Okay. So from here we have a thing over there. That's a tomb, which can be good, but it's probably going to require mining. London raised, yeah, these buildings years ago. They're abandoned now, cold and gray. Okay. So this is new territory. Autopilot on. Let's enjoy the scenery, because there's a lot of it. Seriously, it's just basically like going... This, this whole map is just ruins. It's a good oh oh okay. It's a good thing they didn't go with the um, with anything like too close too clo too claustrophobic. Because while that's actually a little bit better for maneuvering, it's not necessarily that great for for fighting. So I, I, don't, I don't like that, and uh, there's always the danger of us dying, basically. I'm pretty sure they changed the way we gain or lose terror. A bleak place, high and windy as a weathered moor. That's kind of an interesting line right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure they changed the way we lose terror when we find new, new ports. Because we saw the loading screen the other day. Did we? Actually, I think we did, or did I mention it? Anyway, um, I saw a loading screen that told me that every 30 days when you go to a port, you lose terror. Which is considerably different than what it was before, I think. Which was, when you visit a port, you lose terror. Unless you've been to that port in the last 30 days. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to be contending with terror losses a lot more. There's a thing over there. It's a wonder. Oh, yeah. That works, too. I just go to the wonder and chill. I'm going there, by the way. Just, I want to do things in a slightly different way. Uh-huh. And because we're exploring new areas, I... Yeah, now I want to get all the Fog of War relatively well uh, taken care of. That's not a thing in the map? Okay. Uh, I'm not using the bat. Even though I think we might be able to use the bat. Listen! A crewman hisses. It's good luck if... You hear him chime. The Tower of Chimes. That's the Big Ben. It doesn't, it also doesn't heal me, which is bad. Oh, it's on the background. It doesn't heal me. I thought it would. Don't crash. Did it heal me? I think maybe. I was definitely above... Se yeah, I did. It just doesn't show. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm not really sure how the... Uh, what was that? The saying? I saw that. The heck was that for? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how the... I don't know what I was hoping for. I, well, I, I do know what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a green glow on the terror meter. But I didn't find any, of course. And there goes our fuel. We should be fine. We can burn other things, don't you know? Probably supplies at twice the rate or something like that. 
But who has the supplies and doesn't have fuel? Well, I guess there's many ways to lose fuel, so that, that there's always ways. Okay, so that's a, a wall, and there's a wall on this side here as well that I can't tell, but the map is showing. Well, was showing. Okay. Everything seems to be under control. What is this? A crewman exclaims the concept, explains the concept of democracy to the devil. Laughter ensues. Hmm. I don't know where the devil is from, actually. I want to know. Oh, we have a port. What did we find? An unwanted relic that Her Majesty no longer has a use for. Sell supplies. The floating parliament, we found it. We found it. Okay, I don't want to go up there, though. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. It's a lovely area. And here we are, a new port. Everybody's very happy, as you can see. And, uh, well... Yeah. I think everything worked out quite alright. The ancient palace drifts through the void. A monument to British democracy and the greatness it believes it brought to the high wilderness. An elderly guard watches with suspicion as you dock, but relaxes at the sight of a fellow... of fellow Londoners. The Palace of High Minster. Because it's not west. It's high. Yeah. The Empress shipped the Houses of Parliament brick by brick from Old London to the High Wilderness to help her govern. Uh, yeah. I didn't take long for her to grow weary of the questioning of her authority and have it severed from London. Parliament, the Parliament, I suppose. Or no, Parliament is in the group of thing. Yeah. Now drifts free. Shouldn't we? Yeah. That, well. That's one way of writing it, I suppose. Uh, now drifts free in this distant corner of the sky. It continues to pass laws, but hardly anyone pays attention. Well, I suppose that's somebody fantasy right there. I'm not well versed enough in the workings of British Parliament to know exactly how this works. Uh, compile a port report. A parliament has seen... Oh, the parliament. Well, I don't know. It's parliament has seen better days. Sure. While the palace is off limits to most, there are always ministers and civil servants whose busy s schedules allow a moment for a free drink. You ask the obvious question, what is the point of, a par of parliament when her renewed majesty never gives her assent to any of its proposed laws? They bristle, tyrants fall, democracy endures. Hmm. I don't know how that works. Uh, so we can go to a welcoming party. Smiling, nervous young people greet you in uh, as you disembark. Excuse us, the man in yellow rosette calls. Excuse me, a minute of your time? The smiling man wearing the yellow rosette cuts in first. Captain, join our campaign to celebrate Albion and restore old school patriotism to the land by official renaming Wednesday to Victoria's Day. Praise her renewed majesty for all she... The smiling woman wearing the green rosette effortlessly cuts in. For killing democracy? For our subjugation? No, Captain. We must make a stand for freedom. We must show the Empress that we will not just sit idle. Join us as we triumphantly rename her precious Victoria Sponge to the people's cake. They look at you with a hungry expectancy. I suppose it's it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna vote in opposition to the Empress quietly, very quietly. I'm, do I? Okay. Uh, there are ears everywhere. I, sh I shall smack those ears. The true scribble down your answer. Thank you, says the woman with a green rosette and turns to her opposing number. I wonder that might be that might be the party uh, sort of color. One for me, a clear majority. Too bad that nobody's listening, mutters the man in the yellow rosette. The two disappear toward the palace, where no new laws have made it onto the books in years. Yay! What is that? Politics and knavish tricks. You are advancing your parliamentary career. Oh, well, that's fancy then. Ha ha ha. Uh, what do I need for these? The key to Victoria's Tower. That sounds dangerous. Um, so I can explore Trader's Green. Mm, really? It was originally named... For Cromwell, which I assume is somebody very important or something. Somewhere? Maybe? I don't know. Someone clearly holds a grudge. 
Cromwell. I, I don't know who Cromwell was. Maybe somebody bad. I, don't, I said important, but I mean, who knows? Uh, relevant, I suppose, is the word I wanted to use. The replanted gardens are a pleasant place to enjoy a walk, though the buildings are out of bounds to casual visitors. The Empress's Gate is particularly fortified by a heavy chain and a padlock too rusted to ever be unlocked. A few protesters are talking, taking a break to picnic and on the lawn, away from the guards. Braver or more foolhardy ones sit on the aisles... Isle's Edge, swinging their legs over the sky as they eat their sandwiches. It's near them that you spot the fellow in the suit, swaying uncertainly. His footsteps have taken him precariously co close to the edge. Nobody seems to have noticed. Um, he looks like an MP. I know what MP stands for, though. That's a member of parliament. So, it's like a minister. Except minister in British politics... Actually, it's interesting. In Portugal, we call it them all ministers, the MPs. They're all ministers. And then you have, like, the ministers of something, and they would be... Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Although I might be mistaken on our own terminology here in Portugal. Anyway, I'm going to run over to help. Uh, let's see what happens. He looks like an MP, but even so, he sees you coming. Startled, he steps back, and with a drunken cry, he's gone. Over the edge. And soon, little but a dot in the swirling clouds of the wilderness. A small army of civil servants soon swarms from the uh, nearest gate, staring over the edge, agreeing what appalling timing and manners the, the fellow had, and already arguing over whether the most appropriate memorial would be a bronze plaque on a bench or a new ficus. So I don't actually know what a ficus is. Somewhere within the parliamentary halls. A tap on your shoulder distracts you. A tall clerk flanked by two claymen. Excuse us, he glances you up and down. Yes, very suitable. A moment of t of your time. Mm-hmm. They are all asking for moments of my time. He sits at a huge mahogan mahogany. I never pronounced that properly. Mahogany desk in prestigious downing corridor. What? In the pre prestigious... Lo hmm. Anyway, it, downing corridor is a place. And it, it's prestigious... And the desk is there. Anyway, your conversation doesn't distract him from writing notes in the margins of endless pieces of paperwork. He pauses his scribbling only to sip from a large cup of stone-cold tea or to scratch his head with a pen's long silver nib. And bear in mind, that's not iced tea. That's 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 just tea that has gone cold as far as I can tell. Um, I'm going to discuss the business. He looks down his nose at you with a grim expression of a headmaster waiting for an excuse to break out his favorite birch rod. Ah, the captain, a moment to take a, sit, a seat. Uh, is, I don't know if that's actually said by him, though. A tea? Oh, yes. I will call for some tea. The loss of our dear minister for... He hesitates, covertly checking a file. The Brabazon work world, yes, is a tragedy, but we must move on. You seem just the sword I am looking for. Lucid breeding. Have you considered a career in politics? He holds up a hand. No, I do not care about history or, aff or affiliations. A bum in the chair will suffice. The Department of Albion Affairs would be a suitable starting point. If you are interested, I will set the wheels in motion. That's because... I... Uh, w uh, my parliamentary career is progressing swimmingly, then. I can now visit the former minister's port if you wish to stand for election... In Albion, what? Wait, in where? In the heck did I just do? That's not a quest. Chamberlain's absence. No. Where's my completed? There it is. Election called. It is. You have become involved in Parliament. You have been inv invited to become an MP. You have the chance to stand for Parliament. A parliamentary seat is available on the Brabazon, Brabazon work world. We know where that is, right? I think so. I'm going to observe the people's perpetual protest with the lovely um, alliteration. A ragtag mob of protesters has set up camp on the lawn. No two want the same thing, but their cacophonous chanting is impressive. Parliament has little power, but at least there is a chance it might listen. 
That is more than protesters can expect at the throne of ours. The protesters raise their voices with a spirit of camaraderie and a um, united belief that words can still make a world, the world a better place with neither anger in their words nor violence in their demands. At three on the dot, the huge portcullis opens and the protesters are served tea, scones, and little cucumber sandwiches cut in triangles, which I'm sure holds meaning of hilarious nature, but I don't actually know what a cucumber sandwich is. That sounds like a terrible thing. A, a little uh, recognition of the protesters' ongoing service to this most vital part of British democracy. So they're not... Um, should I join? I shouldn't join. I am a mem I'm an MP after all. Maybe I should. I am an MP after all. Hmm... I don't, they don't agree. Maybe I would just rally them up and be like, So, you don't agree on anything. There must be one thing that you agree on. Focus on that. Because together... How does that go? I did, there's, let's join the protest, see where that goes. Because ignoring it is less... Oh, nice. Um, also, I gain mark. That's kind of good. Um, yeah, because joining, at least we know what they're talking about. You scream until horse wave borrowed play pl 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 placards. Placard? How does that? How is that pronounced in English? Anyway, you wave the sort of built placards. As play cards? Placard. Placard. And invent witty slogans that trip off the tongue and are quickly picked up by those around you. The world does not seem a notably better place as a result of all this protesting. Still, even, even a tiny ripple has the potential to become a tidal wave. Mm-hmm. As long as everybody ripples together, otherwise just sort of... Um... What's the word? Just cancels itself. And here is my mission. The, uh, let's see, a zealous undersecretary is already planning next year's Guy Fox night. I know what Guy Fox is. It's that guy that, that I don't actually remember what he did or supposed to have done. I know he was burned at the stake and people enjoy that part, so they recreate that because the burning of the stake is a very uh, the stake is a very British tradition I hear. A vital, uh, Celebration of parliamentary democracy and high explosives. He wants the festivities his fireworks to be seen and heard all the way in London and is prepared to pay well. Um, so the undersecretary asks probing inexpert questions about the yield, lumens, and decibels of your lumens. That's interesting. Uh, that's how light, how much, that's just the measure of light. And decibels, of course, is the me measure, measure of sound. Of your delivery, I want him to rattle Her Majesty's China, he admits savagely. For 200 experience and one moment of inspiration, well, I do declare. And also, the tea is very much appreciated. Also, it's cheap. And also, we have, a uh, wait, wait, three or more? No, three more, right. So, I should buy more. I mean, I'm here. I'll buy some. So these are, this is the bazaar, and I have the supplies. Okay, so as for supplies, we can get one. We also have nos nostalgic crockery, which is nice if we need it, which we don't. Uh, does it say anything? Operating from a forgotten cup cupboard-sized office, the once esteemed official known as Black Rod now sells sandwiches from the parliamentary canteen. In addition, in order to raise funds, he can also be persuaded to part with exhibits from the parliament's extensive collection of crockery. I thought he was going to be sell the center, you know, you keep the you keep the plates or whatever, because that was kind of funny. Uh, but I guess that's that. Uh, I can uh, get more. I mean, these are pretty. These are going to be necess necessary for things for sure. Also, don't I have like a, I have a thing to talk to? I think or somebody to talk to. Maybe not here though, uh, not here. So. I forgot to talk to the navigator, didn't I? Dang it. Even off duty, the navigator is constantly checking the crew. He is avoiding being alone. Let him know that you've seen this before. He has to share his burden. He has to! And I have a savage secret. I have many. I have 15 of them. Uh, let's do that and see where that goes. I don't think we have... Yeah, we might have advanced the quest line. The navigator joins you in his cabin. Finally, the words stumble out. I thought I was all right, he says. I just got on with my work and I was doing well. He reaches beneath his bunk to pull out the book the matriarch gave him. Alton read this all the time. It acted out, do the voices. It is the epic of King Caesar. 
No, no, that's not him saying. That's just me noticing. Epic of King Caesar. Not Caesar. Jazar. King Jazar. Gazar? Geezer. Wah. Alton, he says, Alton knew the true me. He shared his clothes, helped me bind my chest the first time, got me into my first fight, fist fight. So, yeah, he's talking about his transition. Because when, um, <clears throat> when we went to his house, I don't remember where his house was, though, we saw that he was a... Uh, that, that he had pictures of himself when he was a kid. And they were pictures of a girl. And uh, so, yeah, he's talking about binding his chest. So that would be, that's the thing that, that trans people that are assigned female at birth sometimes do. Not all the time, obviously. Uh, the navigator seats up proudly. He was my best friend. So Alton, I don't think we've heard of Alton before. When we were children, I made a promise to him. The navigator stares blindly at, at the book. What did he promise? I'm going to ask. And why did it prey on him? He says, When we were grown up, we would go exploring together. We'd go on great quests, do mighty things. The navigator takes several breaths before continuing. We'd be heroes. People would write stories about us. I'm exploring the skies, and... The navigator turns his face away. He didn't even get to leave home. He wipes his eyes on his sleeve and stands resolute. I'm not going to break my promise. I will give him adventures worthy of King Jazar. Please, Captain. I want to go to Eagles and Pyrian. I'm breaking him out of the, his tomb, and I'll need your help. You'll need a visa to come with me. I think I have some. The London Embassy there will give you one. He frowns. If you have not been to Eleutheria, the relay is near Hebrus. In the reach. Where? Is it? Because I didn't, I didn't find any of that. Aren't we in the right place right now? I don't think we are. Illo Theater is a just wholly different thing. Onwards, then. No tea was required for that. So, that's pretty good. Let's see, where are we right now? Can I press tab? Tab is the one. So, we're Albion, The Reach, Illo Theater. So, this is definitely a place. How is it close to there? It's got to be up there. Or, no, it's not there, though. But it's got to be over here. Close to Hebrews, because, well, it could be there, I suppose. We didn't go there. So many things to explore still. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so let's uh, continue our journey, our adventures, next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, trans rights. That's right. That's, that's trans rights. <laughs>